Oh, I'm going in the fridge. It's in the microwave. All right, I'm going to mingle and marry. What will I put on it this time for a little... Organic, no salt seasoning. It says Kirkland, but I got it from Amazon. I didn't put any in the last few soups. I should. I'm just sprinkling some here on the top of my food. Now I'll mingle and marry. And then I'm coming to eat because I worked up an appetite over there. I'm glad I got up and forced myself to get up and go out. I feel a lot better than if I would have laid there until supper time, trying to go to sleep, just trying. Yeah, so. I was getting my pills out, I'll do it after. It's zero degrees temperature. Okay, mom's coming. Can you see mommy? I know you can. I know you can see me. You're looking right at me. <laughs> Good girl. Kerplunk. Like Chantal. Foodie beauty. Plunks down in her computer chairs. <laughs> Everybody says they're waiting for the chair to let go and her to fall on the ground. That's pretty mean. People say a lot of mean stuff to her. Yeah. No, okay, good girl, off you go. <laughs> if she can't be here, she doesn't want to be here. Oh, my hair, oh, sorry, friends. I'll get my hat. <sighs> Ow, oh, my hip. Ha, her plunk again. This is a telescope. <laughs> oh no, I, I took my earrings out when I put my hood on. That was hard, getting this one in. Yeah, I almost gave up and just be here with one earring. Oh, you can't see uh, Rosie up there, but you gotta see my bowl. <sighs> I didn't use this pink one over here yet. Pink, uh, what do you call it? Tripod. Uh, selfie stick. First bite going in. Mushrooms. Peas, corn, carrots. White potato. Broccoli, cauliflower. And some of that seasoning. And there was a very tiny bit of cabbage. Hardly enough to even mention. But. I look forward to these meals just the same as if it was a pizza. In the, in, in the uh, old days. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for my meals. <laughs> I'm excited to go to get taters tomorrow lunchtime too. But I know that's only two or three times a week. Well, I only eat 14 meals a week, so, yeah, what percentage does that mean? Feels like a hair on me. Who knows what percentage that is? So that only leaves 11 meals I eat at home if I eat out three times. But lately it's been two, so. Two times. Yesterday and tomorrow. Mm hmm. Well, it's helping me. It's helping me notice that my legs and my hips and my bum and my belly and everything is getting a little bit. 
smaller. So, in two weeks, that's going to be four years. Four years. Four. I, it just was a blur. It's a blur. It just whizzed by. I never had any problems. I never had any problems doing this plan. I don't miss anything. I don't feel restricted or deprived. I don't crave those foods. No. One day Richard got a piece of pizza and he was eating it in the truck with me. And I almost got triggered by that, but then I just think that's the kind of foods that made you sick and in bed. Hard to move around. So, yeah, because I didn't just lose 100 pounds. I restored my health. Got up out of my sick bed and after the first year, I was just laying here on the bed, moving my arms and legs. And then I would just go outside and walk a few steps and just walk a few more and a few more. Yeah. Now I can, I know I can at least walk an hour. Well, that was before my sciatica started up, too. Hmm. And if I went to the doctor for a sciatica and they can't say lose 100 pounds, huh? <laughs> I'd have news for them. <laughs> We don't even have a doctor. Um, who wants to sit at outpatients for 12 hours when there's really sick people coming in there and carry it in with them? The virus. Yeah, no. I don't know how I'm going to get my Synthroid and my prescriptions refilled. They only do it at a drugstore for three week, uh, three months. So, uh, yeah. And they're dis discriminating. It seems like they're discriminating about the ones of us that can't or won't. Some people just won't do it because. They don't want the government telling them what to do. Some people don't want to do it because they're scared of the reactions, and that's my case. I can't. I can't. I just can't. Because I'm not sick now, but if I took that needle, I would be sick. Anyway, we're getting discriminated against by all the people that have the vaccination, double vaxxed and triple vaxxed. Those vaccinations aren't doing what I think they thought they might do because they can carry it. They're more dangerous than we are now, I think, because they think they can go everywhere. And they're being let to go everywhere. And they can still carry it, and they can still get it, and they can still die from it. So, I don't care, though, because I don't, I don't want I don't want to go in a restaurant anymore, and I don't want to go places that I had a hard time going to anyway even before the pandemic because of my sense sensitivity <laughs> I got a whole cup of peas and a half a cup of corn Guess I didn't mingle in a merry good enough thing. <laughs> so I come up with a whole bunch of peas like that. <laughs> but I didn't have very much potato, so peas and corn are stuck. And I got one banana I might eat. Richard peeled more potatoes. He'll bring them over tonight when he comes. And we still, I got turnip and cabbage and carrots cooked up. She's sitting in a sunbeam. 
What are you doing in the sunbeam? <laughs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> My beautiful baby girl. I don't know where Missy is. Anyway, this is getting too long. Me just here blabbering on. Um, I haven't had the, the real, the regular flu shot since 1996. Because of my, uh, chemical sensitivities and, and, uh, environmental thing. And I, I didn't get the flu. No, from, no, from wood. <laughs> I don't know if that's even real wood. <laughs> Panel board. It was made in 1975, so. We bought it in 786. Uh, An older couple had it, and they had uh, put the electric heat in, and they put the peaked roof on it. Mm. And Richard took the um, furnace out of that middle of the hall closet that I'm always standing by. I'm very thankful to have it. I love it. Well, friends, I think I'll watch a video, somebody else's video, and, and then after that I'll edit. I'm glad I got up and went outside and got out of that uh, grumpy grumpy mood that I couldn't even stand to be by myself. Empty. I got some pickles. I still feel like eating more. Might not be real hunger, but it's only pickles. Sweet mixed. Don't taste that sweet. You knocked the camera over. All right. Here's my banana I had for my dessert. He's going to get more. That was the end of them. Thanks for watching, friends. And we hope you subscribed and left a comment and rang the bell. See you next time, Lord willing.